Ando Vilavicencio continues to rock the pole-bound nation. Vilavicencio's wife addressed a news conference and alleged that the Ecuadorian government was responsible for her husband's murder. She also demanded answers to why this happened. Take a listen. No lo protegieron como debían haberle protegido. El Estado estaba a cargo de la seguridad de Fernando. El Estado es el responsable directo del asesinato de mi esposo, Fernando Villavicencio. El Estado tiene que dar todavía muchísimas respuestas de todo lo que pasó. Su custodia personal no cumplió su trabajo. Yo no quiero pensar que vendieron a mi esposo a la... para que sea asesinado de esta manera infame. Meanwhile, Wala Vicencio's political party has announced a replacement for his post. The build party's erstwhile vice presidential choice, Andrea Gonzalez, is slated to be their new presidential candidate for the August 20th elections. The National Election Council is yet to approve the new stand-in candidature for Gonzalez. Wala Vicencio's wife has objected to this development and said that the selection is arbitrary. The Ecuadorian law forbids the vice presidential candidate from stepping down. In response to this developing situation, the Ecuadorian government has imposed a state of emergency across the nation. 4,000 Ecuadorian military and the police officers entered a prison in search of a powerful gang leader accused of threatening Villa Vicencio. Villa Vicencio had complained of receiving death threats from Jose Adolf Marcias, also known as Fito. The Ecuadorian government has now moved Fito from a zonal penitentiary uh, in the major part of Guaquil to La Roca prison.